removing the gland nut that holds the flywheel on. It's under 254 foot pounds. So we'll see what happens. We made sure we notched our gland nut so that it lines up with the flywheel since we don't have that. And there she goes. Sucker's heavy. That's all the way to the motor. <laughs> Homemade front VW pulley puller. Didn't want to spend the $15 on one. Alright, just pick her up. She's off. There she is. So how we did it here is we ground two of these bolts so they would clear. And on the other side, we just had them through the standard holes that you'd use to pull the pulley out anyhow. And then we just used a standard puller that you could rent anywhere at O'Reilly's. Alright, so when taking the VW flywheel off, I made sure that I marked the clutch components here with the pressure plate with a mark here. It also lines up with the flywheel in order to keep proper balance if that's at all necessary. I also marked the flywheel with the motor just in case. And then I also for a balance sake, mark the dowel pin on the crank with the flywheel here. And then finally, when I removed my gland nut right here, let's see if I can find my mark. You can kind of see it right there. I made a really fine mark there because I don't have a torque wrench that goes to 254 foot pounds. And I marked that on the crank as well. So, as we can see here, here is our marked um, our marked pin, and then on the flywheel or on the crank, you can see in there where I have it marked as well for the gland nut, and I also have the gland nut marked on the flywheel. So is right here. So everything should go back together just fine. Um, every mark, if not more marks, were made than needed, I'm sure, but everything will go back exactly how it came off this way.